what rhetorical significance do you feel the um, digital archive of literacy narratives has made? Boy, I'm not sure this is a rhetorical difference. I can tell you what I'm proudest of about the DALN and what I think it's accomplished within our field. I, I think we now have as a profession a common corpus of literacy narratives that anybody can study and that everybody can study and that we can come at from so many different angles uh, because those stories are there and they're recorded for history and they're preserved and they're available to people who want to use those or to contribute to the to the collection. I, and that in itself is an important um, professional contribution, I think. I'm very proud of that particular contribution. But even more important, I think it gives the profession an understanding of what can happen when you take on these big humanities projects um, where the effort of creating them and the burden of creating the project, not just the money but the effort of maintaining it and creating it and contributing to it and then using it, is shared by many people in the profession. And it shows what we can do when we put our heads together in a collective effort to create something that everybody can benefit from if they have a connection to the internet. And to me, that's a tremendous lesson and I'm not sure that people really understand the, uh, the importance of that lesson. Um, I think people um, like Sandra Pearl understand. She was, uh, after we started the DALN, for instance, the Writing Tree project that she started was also a crowdsourced project. And she came to me and asked, what had we learned from doing the DALN that would translate into success for the writing tree? And I think she understood the importance of that model of big humanities. What can we do together, collectively, that the whole profession can benefit from? And I think that people at the four C's especially, I might say, the staff members at the Four Cs, the people uh, like Jackie Biddle, who um, were conference organizers, or Eileen Maley, um, who have always made a place for the DALM because they understand that that historical record that we're um, uh, sedimenting right now will be available for study in years to come. And I think that is key I think it's absolutely key. I, if we don't do it, who is going to do it? And if we don't do it now, when are we ever going to start an effort like that? So I guess the last thing that I'm happiest about is that somebody like Ben McCorkle and uh, Michael Harker, Ben at uh, Ohio State uh, Mansfield, and um, uh, I'm sorry, Ohio State Marion, and uh, Michael Harker at Georgia State uh, will be the new directors of the DALN and take that forward in time uh, so that the effort goes on because we never know who's going to use those archives, these archives, who's going to use it in the future, what benefit it's going to bring, what contributions it can make. Um, and I, I think that that um, I think carrying forward, it's going to become increasingly valuable.